Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm called The Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff organizations for more than 40 years. Today I want to offer you some no BS resume advice. I, I want to just make this simple for you. And, and I often am asked the question, how long should my resume be? And, and part of that comes from the fact that there's conflicting information about how long a resume should be. Uh, some people believe a one-page resume is ideal. Some people believe two to three pages is ideal. Some people believe you lay out your entire case, length be damned. And I, I think that defeat, all of these answers defeat the purpose of the resume. The resume allows you to make a case for why someone should invest the time to interview you. By demonstrating a fit for your skills and experience against the requirements of the role as you understand them to be. Real simple. So the length is really unimportant as relates to that, um, that charter that you have. Again, your charter is to determine the correct length of a resume for yourself so that you're able to demonstrate a fit for the role as you understand them the requirements to be. Now, how do you demonstrate a fit? Now, demonstrating a fit talks about role responsibilities, accomplishments, and if you're in IT, you have the technology that you utilize. So, what you want to be doing is talking about what you've done, how you went about doing it, what you walked into, the successes that you had, uh, some of the challenges that you faced, uh, how much money you helped your firm make, how much money you helped your firm save. Now, if you can accomplish that in one page, do it. If you can accomplish that in three pages, do it. Now, I want to encourage you to think of front-loading your resume. What do I mean by front-loading? Having it within one or two page downs uh, of uh, your resume. Now remember, people don't read physical documents anymore. They're reading screenshots. Uh, and if you're submitting your resume to a corporation directly, you're probably doing it through an applicant tracking system. And the tracking systems often are, are calibrated to look for keywords on the first page. So you want your document I put document in quotes because remember, it's not a document anymore. It's a computer file. Uh, to demonstrate your fit for the role early in the resume rather than late in the resume. So, for example, uh, some people make the mistake of having an opening page that really is very general and very vague about what a person's done and where. Uh, Functional resumes often have that mistake vis-a-vis -vis the applicant tracking systems. Uh, functional resumes may work with executive personnel. Um, and, and I'm not talking about a senior manager or a VP or a director. We're talking about executive levels. So uh, I encourage people to work with chron chronological resumes and to front load the resume with as much relevant information as possible so that this way if I happen to submit their resume to an applicant tracking system or they submit it, the tracking system uh, and their algorithms aren't going to reject the person because the relevant information appeared too late. So again, the length is irrelevant. It's the quality of the information that you provide that demonstrates a fit for the role, particularly early in the resume. So this is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, click the like button that's down below and let people know that you found it helpful. It helps them and it'll help me as well improve my ranking with YouTube. Now. You can also subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is The Big Game Hunter TV. All one word, The Big Game Hunter TV. And you get notices whenever I do a new video. Now, if you come over to my website, jeffalpin.com, you can also watch my videos, but you can subscribe to my channel, uh, excuse me, subscribe to my e-zine uh, there, which is called No BS Job Search Advice, which offers advice for for job hunters weekly. Uh, you can read previous articles I've written there, listen to podcasts of my radio show, uh, search positions I'm recruiting for, find out about my coaching program called VIP Personal Search Agent. I'm sorry, it's VIPPersonalSearch.com and the program is VIP Personal Search Agent. In addition, you can post your resume to more than 50 sites from mine, use easy to work with. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can do there. So come over to JeffAlpin.com and go explore it. 
Two last things, if I may. First of all, if your firm is trying to hire someone, send me an email at the address below. Let me know who to contact and whether or not I can mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff a position. Finally, if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people all over the world, except if you're a third party recruiter or in a country known for scams or spam. So this is Jeff Alpin. Hope you have a great day. Take care.